I'm here with CNN, really they need no introduction whatsoever. One of my, I, I'm gonna say, one of the best hip hop duos that ever came on the scene. It's not an opinion, it's a fact. It's Ask the Hood. It's true. It's true. It's true. This is Yale about to deliver the best to the rest. Here we go. Here's my first question. Cool. Right before signing with Penalty Records in 1996, what was your daily life like in the hood? What was your what was your situation and everything? I mean, for me speaking, I think our situation was the same. Like, you know, hustling, you know, doing everything that the average street person does. Like, it was, our life was no different probably from your life or anybody else, else's life. It's just that the choices that we made put us in predicaments where we were probably on parole or yeah. probation or, you know, so, you know, at the time we signed the penalty records, that was like the best thing that happened for us because mm -hmm. it wasn't like we was millionaires or thousandaires or hundred of us. Yeah. We were struggling, you know what I'm saying? We was grinding every day, doing what we had to do, you know what I'm saying? So. That's basically what it was. It wasn't really nothing. We wasn't pushing benzes and we wasn't Jay-Z getting money before rap and all that. Nah, we was just regular dudes, two dudes from Queens. Just looking the way out the hood. Looking for a way out the hood. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I say, uh, like, I, I, I believe, like, I'm, I know everybody says this, but I believe I'm, I'm like one of the rarest cases of really hip hop really saving my life. Like, I was on parole. My parole officer was really trying to make me feel like you know, I was in jail. Like, yeah. He didn't really want, like he he would come to my house because I didn't have a job. So he would come to my house and literally like call me and say, yo, come downstairs. And I would have to go downstairs. This is like five, six o'clock in the morning. He would have two vests on, two guns. And he was just like a warrior, like parole <laughs> officer. Like, so he would come downstairs and he wouldn't even talk to me. He, <laughs> he would make me come downstairs and then go like this to me. And then go back upstairs. I was like, yo, somebody's going to think. Let me think tell you how Somebody's going to kill yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, you know what I'm bad. saying? Like, he was a foul. Well, this, this, this is what's real about that. See how we partners? Yeah. Our parole officer was partners. Yeah, they were partners. <laughs> Word. That was real. And they his, sat in the desk next to each other. was mad cool, yo. <laughs> I feel <always> cool. <laughs> Mine was, yo, know, I used to come to, I used to just go to see my... Oh shit, they get in the fact. Leave this. This is hot. That's hot. Leave this. It can, nothing can't be perfect. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 what's, what's the homeboy called? Imperfect? Imperfect. Oh, um, Murphy's Law, whatever. No, no, no. Perfect imperfection. Perfect imperfection. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, like, like at that time, you know, like, hip hop literally saved my life because, like, Honestly, that was the job that made him get off of me. Like, I mean, I used to go yeah. to the, just walk in his office. And he's like, yo, turn around. Like, you know, just search me. And like, I'm talking about strip search me. Like, you know what I'm wow. saying? Like, so it's like my parole officer at that time was really on me and was really about to just send me back because I didn't have a job. So I signed him with penalty all, records. Nah, I, I can't actually, remember his stuff, man. Actually, <laughs> yo, was going to lock him up because I got locked up. Swerve. <laughs> That's, that's how, how foul his P.O. was. Foul. He didn't do nothing. <laughs> didn't like y'all was conjoined twins or something. Like, Word, he yo. wasn't even there. Yo, I'm telling you. I, that's like, he must have met me. Was. He must have met me and just was like, I don't like, like I must have reminded him of a kid that used to beat him yeah. up or something. So he, he really took it out on me hard. So when you ask me that, like, literally, hip hop saved my life because that right there, in particular job, he had to fall back off of me. He had to make me inactive. And for, for those that don't know, when you say inactive, that's like you go from seeing your PO once a week, you know, then when you get inactive, it's like once a month, then once, you know, every two months yeah. or something like that. So hip hop literally saved my life. I know it kill him to let you off the hook. He yeah, like, I mean, yeah. He, he had to. He, I heard he's so ill now. He's a <laughs> fed. He's a fed. Like, he violated so many people. The feds came and got him and said, you got to work with us. Well, like, that's how ill he was. He was living. It was crazy. I got his name, too. Stewart. Stewart. Yeah, Stewart. Oh, I'll never forget well, his name. Stewart. That's, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll never forget Stewart. Yeah, we had some foul pills. But that's just saying, like, you know, like, he wasn't doing it. He wasn't doing nothing but street shit, man. And then, Hip hop came along. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's like that 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 song by Common. Yeah. How that song go? I used to love. Her. I used to love. Her, you know right. what I mean? Like mm. that, it was like our story, man. Hip hop. Yeah, what's the next one? I'm interested.
What I want to know is, how did you manage to stay together so long? Because a lot of people that go through, you know, you start making money. You know There's so what? many things that, that, that. I'll keep it 100. We managed to stay together by managing to recognize that we're human beings. And what I say by that is, I got to wake up every day and I got to say, you know what? To make, it's, to make our relationship better, I have to learn how to accept my brother for what he is. Mm -hmm. And he has to do the vice versa. Like, I can't wake up tomorrow and be like, yo, I don't, I like, I don't like the fact that you still smoke joints. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be a downfall. That should be an upper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, all right, cool. Well, every now and then, I'll smoke a joint with you. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then, he'll smoke a Philly with me. But see, young, when, when you older, I think our relationship is better that we're older. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you get to think things out more. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I've I seen, I seen a lot of, you know, people. One of my favorite groups that did it and that stuck together was Outkast. Mm -hmm. And let me just tell you something. Just by looking at them, them dudes are two different people. Yeah. I don't even know if they're from the same hood, but the I know they're planet. two different people. They might even be from the same <laughs> planet, you know what I'm saying? But that's what makes it better. Like, that's what compliments. I'm a hyper dude. Like, I'm naturally, like, you know what I'm saying? I'll naturally have everybody come out their offices right mm -hmm. now, you know what I'm saying? And he's naturally a smooth dude. So why, why try to make him hype? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And why him try to make me smooth? It works. The way it is, nice so counterbalance. You know what I'm saying? So I think that that's what makes our relationship strong is just us accepting each other's imperfections. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And just moving on. Yeah, yeah. Basically, basically, that's just realizing that I can't change him, he can't change uh, me, and but no matter where we did, where we went in life, but no matter how many people, at the end of the day, all we got is us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we run 100, we run around 100 deep no more. We don't do that no more. Because at the end of the day, it wasn't benefiting us. Yeah. Right. Since we, I could say like, maybe about what, 2006? I could say we've been doing everything as, as one instead of 100. Because mm -hmm. I, I feel like... Any decision we've made throughout our career wasn't totally our decision. Mm -hmm. So now everything we do, we based on our decision, mm -hmm. our moves, the way we feel. So that made us a little bit more, I said a lot more tighter than anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna recap on something. Let me, um, hold on, I got something right here. Yeah, it's like a surprise. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I wanna know whose idea was this? No, oh, so, uh, yo, that wasn't our idea. Yeah. That wasn't our idea. No, that was actually. Y'all see yeah. this? We Two was, entrepreneurs. Right. We, we Hip hop, we whatever. Was, right. Rolling paper. Yeah. Rolling paper. Right. Yeah. I must have gave you that a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I as soon as he, I knew what it was, right. no, but no, that, we was overseas. Mm -hmm. We was overseas, and it's this, it's this, this dude, man, and um. Last time I was in France, this is when I went Dolo. Mm -hmm. I had met him, and um, I was cool with him, but I didn't know he does this stuff like that. So now this time, we went back to France. He's like, yo, I got something for you. <laughs> so he know I smoke joints. He knew Nori smoked Phillies. Yeah. So he made Capone and Noriega blunt wraps. Yeah, that was a blunt And Capone and Noriega joint paper. Yeah. And that was like, Right now, I wish I could, I, I lost his info. If I could find him, if you watch this, yeah. get at us, because we need you this time around, baby. But yeah. so can, can they still buy these, or? Yeah, or, or, or like, see, I put them in the store, I put, yeah. But um, I yeah, really want to make those a promo bottle. item, like the blunt wraps and, yeah, uh, and the word up, a real item. promo item. That, that's, that was an excellent idea right there. Yeah. You know, I know, you know, see people did lighters before mm -hmm. and shit. Nah, we, we, you we know, but this, that's, that's a step above. Wow. Oh. Now I just thought about who I can get an AT in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the next question. I like your question. All right, my next question yeah, is, my next question is, do you have something for me to put in this right now? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I wish I knew you was coming, my boy, because yeah. I would have had you too. I, I think I got a little something <laughs> over there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, What I want to know is, 
What made you sign? What made you sign to SMC Records? Fuck you. Oh, no. You know what it was? Yeah, yeah. Nah, I want to take this one. Yeah, get it. Um, with no disrespect to SMC, mm. but they were like, um, they're like bottom feeders, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, they didn't really mm. have their stuff together, you know what I'm saying? So, in all righteousness to them, it was like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, you got to work with what you have. It's like, it's like this. You can do a show for people, and there could be 14 people in the crowd. But if the crowd is giving you that energy, you might mm. still perform for an hour. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you can perform for a house full of people. And if they're not giving you that energy, you, you might not feel like perform for an hour. Mm. So what it was was they, they they really was understaffed. They really wasn't prepared to do what we needed to be done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because Channel 10 was a great album. Like, I don't give a fuck what anybody say. It's just that people didn't know. Like, I, I had asked to do one day, and I said, um... I said, yo, nobody knows that this album is out. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, everybody knows. I said, yo, I'm pretty much sure that when I walk on the street, I get recognized more than you. And everybody who sees me, they ask me when am I dropping something. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows about this album. You know what I'm saying? There was no money spent. We was, we was promised marketing dollars that never came. You know what I'm saying? So it was just a real touchy situation where we had to get the fuck up out of there. Like we had to. And they was they were just they were just they were doing business totally the wrong way, you know what I'm saying? So we can, we can go on forever, and, and I can tell you the bad things about it. But I, I know that a real man, instead of getting revenge, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You move on and you become you know superior, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm just moving on. It was a bad business move yeah. all around, and you know that's that. I'm glad we didn't, I'm glad we didn't give them more report too. So, yeah. No, we'd have been in jail right now, my brother. But what I want to, but what I want to know is, right. you think, you know, like down there is a different flavor, yeah? Because that's right. the West Coast, that's the West Coast label. Yeah, we never even been to the label, like we never even been there. You know what I'm saying? That's how crazy. We never actually mm. went to the label, like. But they were pushing something different at that time. They were yeah. pushing. You, you, I don't know if, you, if you're familiar with uh, Mac Dre and the hyphy movement. Yeah, yeah. And that's and that's what was. Uh, <coughs> And that's, on, it like, was crazy because we had them in, in New York and um, they was hearing the record played on Hot 97 and they was excited. But the thing is, see, I, this is something that fans don't understand. You, it has to be a campaign. It has to be, you have to do things. Like, in order for a, 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 a person to know that you're coming out with an album, it's not just radio, it's not just marketing, it's not just doing interviews. It's about every, everybody doing it all collectively, working as a team. Mm -hmm. Now, it's, if you see it in football all the time, if the wide receiver and the quarterback don't get along, the quarterback, you, the wide receiver might be wide open, and the quarterback is going to say, "Hand yeah. off," you know what I mean, or he's going to throw it to somebody else or throw it out of bounds because they're not vibing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it was, and I, I actually don't even want to talk about them. Yeah, no I think because they get I'm going to go to a negative area, and yeah. I'm trying to be above that. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. Trying to be above that. I could definitely dig it. Well, let me ask you. That was um, that was then. This is now. What yeah. I want to know is, is there anybody right now that you would think of collaborating with, uh, say from the Bay Area, like say maybe like Screwball or or somebody out there that you think be, that you could I mean, that right, you could mess right, with? Right now, I mean, I want to do a record with two show. Mm. You know what I mean? Y'all heard it. Game. Mm. I respect game. You know what I'm saying? And to me. If you can't, if you can't respect game, then you don't respect the game at all. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it's a lot of re rappers I respect in the Bay, but that don't necessarily means I gotta do a song with them. Yeah. But too short, I do some too short in me. So what I want to know is, uh, tell us about um. I know you're doing something with, with uh, Raekwon, his label, yeah. Ice Water, HDO. He's yeah. oh my god, he's one one of the yeah. most down to earth brothers that you can meet right now. Yeah. And uh. That's why I've been here with him, you well, know what I mean? Well, you know, um, basically what happened with that was I, I, I had got an offer from EMI Direct, you know what I'm saying, um, for, for my solo. Mm -hmm. And what happened was Kay, me and Kay sort of built a relationship, like without trying to build a relationship, Kay, who was like Ray's manager and his, his brother. So Kay hit me and was like, yo, I've seen that they trying to mess with you up there. So he was like, yo, man, I would really like to help out and be a part mm -hmm. of it. And, you know, we was talking about it. But then I was like, you know what I'm saying? And then he called back, we got on the phone. 
And it was like, you know what? CNN fits that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's like, Nori, you know, when I do go solo, it should be something totally different from CNN. Yeah. It shouldn't reflect on CNN. And when he does something solo, it shouldn't reflect CNN because that's our thing together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you, I can't be CNN by myself and neither can he. Yeah. So we sat down and we we, we, we made we, had, we we put together the killer plan. You know what I'm saying? To, uh, to, to, to go out and attack. They have their way of doing things. We have our way of doing mm -hmm. things. And we're going to continue to do things our way. They're going to continue to do things their way. But when we come together and do things mm -hmm. for the conglomerate ring, it's a beast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because collective, you know, you know, um, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like a, a team collectively works. It works better. You know what I'm saying? When we go, oh, me and Capone are really concentrate on being artists and you know making the music mm -hmm. because the way it's designed is we're bosses. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We're just fifty fifty bosses. So. You know, we love the situation. As of right now, everything is cool, everything is smooth. The support we, that we need is there, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, you know, coming from where we just came from, it's very well respected, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 And, and, and y'all been y'all been battling the shiny suits for a while. Uh, right, 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 right. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. How you much pressure is this? Yes. You, you, know, you know the crazy thing that I gotta say about the shiny suits dudes is that they are actually telling us right now, yo, Put back on the army mm. fatigues, like you know they behind us. The thing yeah. is, that's the great, that's a great thing about life, is that something that happened ten years ago can be a reflection and say, you know, somebody you was battling ten years ago could be the same person that's your number one fan mm. rooting for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Could be the same person because life changes, and except when life changes, that's all. That's all. Prosper. You know what I'm saying? Accept it. Accept it. Like you know what I'm saying? For real. So, um, what, what is the game missing right now? What there's a void. What's the game? I mean, the game. To me, game. The game is like time. It has to change. You know what I'm saying? It's not really what it's missing. It's what. Let me see how can I put this in our world this way. It's not like exactly what the game is missing. Cause the game ain't really missing. It. But it's it's a, it's a whole essence of the game that's that's missing. Like. They're not letting in the, the real hip hop. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, it's, I think the game is just a little biased right now. Because they're not letting in certain hip hop. Like, to me, if you got music, you should be able to, you should be able to, it should be able to be heard. You know what I mean? If, if you're an artist and you're making music and you got a deal, you should be able to be heard. I, I don't think it should be like, just because this kind of music is right now, is hot, you don't want to hear this. You know what I mean? So basically, you think they're basically, right now, the creativity is being stifled. Basically, a bit. you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you really can't do, you can't say what you want no more, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because they don't want to play, uh, or this is too much. So it's, it's not really what the game's missing, it's just that it's too biased right now. It's too, like, it's too prejudiced. The game is real prejudiced. And then everybody talk about love, 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 but the game is the most prejudiced game out there, man. So what? So so for an up and coming artist, somebody that's trying to kick in the doors, what is the advice that you would give somebody? Get down with somebody. <laughs> yeah, but how, do you, but how do you do that? You just gotta go. I mean, same way. I, I, you know, everything happens for a reason. You can't <coughs> expect nothing to happen if you're gonna sit on your ass. Yeah. But if you expect to make something happen, you go out and search for it. But me, me, you gonna see Capone and Ori yeah, in the street somewhere. You gonna see Little Chris in the street somewhere. You gonna see anybody. Everybody don't live in their house. You yeah. stay in the house 24-7. You got to know where it's at and go get it. You know what I'm saying? You got to go get it at the end of the day. That's the only way you're going to get it. Yeah. Walking them dogs. Walking yeah. them dogs, kid. Yeah. Word. That's the only way you're going to get it nowadays. And to me, that it goes back to what I'm saying. The game is racist, right? Now, you think if, uh, let's say, Young Joe, right? I just, I, I'm just using him because he's he has a rapper CEO. Now you figure if Young Joe would have came out by his dolo, he'd have got the same love as coming out with Ti. Nah, you know what I mean. So that just really goes back to the game being biased. You know what I mean. But hey, that's how we came in the game. So who am I to complain? But that's the way the game is. So this new album, man. This new album. What 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 can we expect? I I know I know it's like, gonna be hot. Like, like we us us for like. Like we went and actually, you know what I'm saying, I went and actually, you know, had my man Google uh, 
the, the, the first release date of the war report, and it was June 17th, 1997. So we releasing this album June 15th, 2010. It's well, 13 years. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, we, 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 we went, when we went and made this album, we went for the particulars so hard. Like I'm talking about, we want everything to have that sound of the original album, but to an extent upgraded because now we know how to make music. Then I didn't know how to make music. I don't know how to. I didn't know how to pull up a hi hat. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to make the strings, you know, come out. I didn't know how to get a singer to come in and riff on it. You know what I mean? I didn't know how to do these things then. But now, that's why I say it, and I know people get mad at me when I say it. But musically, this will be a better album than the War mm -hmm. Musically. I'm not saying lyrically, you know what I'm saying? Lyrically, we were kids then. We yeah. were just happy to come. Y'all been had the recipe. You, you know what I'm saying? So now what we're doing is we just upgrading the recipe. Before we used to make the lasagna, <laughs> you know, we just just make the lasagna. It was just with cheese lasagna yeah. with turkey in it. Now we gonna, we take the turkey out, it's still lasagna, but we, we know how to make it with lobster yeah. now. Mm. Now we know how to make it with lobster, son, with shrimp, yeah. the shrimp, son. Scrimps the prawns. <laughs> they at least, oh, they at least. They at least five dollars a piece. Say that again. I said I, you know he do some cooking. Uh, I'm I'm a, a, little, you know, a little something, you know what I'm saying? So that's it. We, it's the same lasagna. It's just different ingredients. And I think, and I think, it, it will come out better than the the, the first lasagna. You know yeah. Saying? Yeah, I'm ready to dig my fucking that thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> now here's here here's what I want to know too. Okay. During that order of uh, East Coast, West Coast beef, right. how did y'all, because I know Corrupt is, is, right. is y'all like, y'all really tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you get to the point where, because I know animosity builds up, especially when there's a lack of communication now, going on. Let, let me tell you the funniest, this is the funny story. He was locked up, right? We had, had the LA, LA record. They had the New York, New York record. We were beefing, right? So it's, it dies down, right? The beef is like, died down. But I've never been to LA at this point, right? So I get to LA. And I'm going to do the radio station, um, right? So the radio station calls me and says, "Yo, what, what, yo, come by yourself." So I'm <laughs> like, "All right, cool, right?" So I go, I go by myself. Come, come up with something, dad. Oh. I mean, they up there deep in town. <laughs> so I'm like, "Oh shit, right?" So come up, came in the room, like, "What's up, homie?" I was like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas, were, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's, they got me trapped. Like, they're trying to rock you to they going, You know what I'm saying? So, it's crazy. And we, and that, those are like, like, it's crazy for us to have the New York, New York record, and, uh, oh, excuse me, the LA, LA record, New York, New York record. Uh, that be our original, you know, first time, you know, interacting. And then for those brothers to be the people that we most cool with on the West Coast. If you ask me, like, what's artist? You the coolest wood, I would say that's and corrupt, you know right. what I'm saying? So mm. that's the crazy That's our dogs. I mean we went to their cribs and all that. Like you know it's just saying? not yeah. like hotel love, you know what I mean? Yeah. You just yo, yo I'm in town or nah, it's real. You come in my house, my house cooking up, somebody cooking, you know. Right. It's real shit. Wow. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Look, I got the exclusive right here yes, by two of the dopest MCs that ever lived. Yeah. Straight up, and I'm not just saying that because they're here, because I've been listening to them yeah. since I, you know, since day one, and they real dudes, Thank you know, because because you had street cred. I remember you was talking about um when you first got on with uh with with uh with Big. Oh, yeah, Remember yeah, uh, you yeah, said yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. in reference well, to that? Yeah, big yeah. ones to sound. You know what I mean, yeah. but like it's like once once you once you a dude and you, and you have a certain character, everything else falls into place. You know what I'm saying? Everything else falls into place for you. And I just feel like everything that in my life happened for me. I met big for a reason. You know what I mean? That made me respect Brooklyn niggas more. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, everything happened for a reason. I ain't gonna front. When I, they said the murder dog was doing an interview, I thought y'all was gonna have a little flip cam. Y'all got an arsenal <laughs> with y'all. Yeah. Yo, it's like, y'all got a big team. You got lights, yeah. cameras, cameras, sound mics. <laughs> we, we also mic'd up. Y'all yeah. very, very, real quick. Very, <laughs> real, yeah, yeah, you know what it is. Hey, thumbs up. Y'all very thumbs professional, up. man. And I, and the I, name I fooled fun, me. Right? I thought y'all was gonna come with some dogs. You know what I mean? And some, you know, some alcohol dog I had, food. I had, I had and, to watch, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, murder dog. You know what I'm saying? And R.E. Paul, CNN. That's right. What's up? Big y'all up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's contagious. You was burping all day. You just made me burp. So, yeah. 
So we good? But look, hold on. Before y'all leave, we want y'all to know the mixtape, Camouflage Season, be out 420. And the album be out June 15th. And we shoot that video this weekend with Thug Planet. So yes, by the time this is out, it should, it should be out. Uh, that's the first leak off the, off the album. And then we'll go into that single. You know what I'm saying? So, but uh, like again, June 15th. June 15th. Board, baby. Board two, baby. Salute.